Hey y'all, what's up y'all, it's your boy Lee Adams from Coolest South African Geek. Welcome to my channel, about to dive right into Never Have I Ever Season 2. The first season was more uh, real than I thought it would be. I thought it was uh, another quirky, you know, rom-com type of situation because the trailer made it seem like a teenage girl with a teenage crush. But it was deeper than that. It dealt with loss. It dealt, it dealt with abandonment, it dealt with sexuality, it dealt with, uh, like, home troubles, a lot of home troubles. Thought it was gonna be strictly a teen type of show, like a teen comedy, but even identity, like her questioning her own, like, cultures, beliefs, and where she stands, and then hi hierarchy, all that, like, how westernized she's become. Her friends dealing with her sexuality, a friend dealing with a mom abandoning her for the stardom, like for future and entertainment biz, her dealing with the trauma of her dad dying. Like so many things were happening in the first season that made me really invested in these characters. But it also had the classic rom com tropes, you know, that it's clearly has now that you can see by the pros and cons every rom-com sequel the main protagonist has to make a choice between two guys and we basically got a roll with the punches that she led somebody on and broke another person's heart because she chose love at the end i hate that trope so much to all the boys i loved before team john ambrose <laughs> Uh, kissing boot team whatever that new guy is <laughs> and the fact that they just naturally forgive the girl after they get heartbroken makes it so much worse makes them so beta but anyway let's not waste any more time and i love that the the side characters called out the main character for treating them like side characters because she was so this is my world these are my problems this is all me. And it seemed like she hasn't really learned that much. But I think her friends forgave her the previous season. I've talked for like two minutes. I've never talked this long before starting a reaction. Let me dive right in. Paxton, guys. Yeah, they forgave her. When you're old and on your deathbed, whose naked body do you want to be picturing? Wouldn't I be thinking about my kids and grandkids and stuff? No, that's a mess. That's such a teenage decision, though. He had so many more reasonable cons. She's definitely gonna do the whole trope thing. Yeah, she's excited. God damn, her mom is still a helicopter parent. Damn, they found the pros and cons list. Damn. Hope that happens very early and she's the bad guy. Another Indian girl who's prettier, cooler. Another Indian girl. She feels threatened. I mean, it's a good show, but I'm just mad that it's doing the trope. Damn, she likes Ben. She's gonna get hit by a car? When is it coming out? July 15th. Megan Thee Stallion does. Hey, man, bitch. At least it seems like modern teenagers wrote this. Probably the cast got some input. Mindy Kelling seems like a person who let them rewrite some of the dialogue to what teenagers would say. So it doesn't seem, oh my God, <laughs> Riverdale or what other teen drama is it's popular right now. It looks great though. Like I said, I really enjoyed the first season. You saw how in depth I went about a show <laughs> at the beginning of this reaction. But I hate that trope so much. 
Like, yo, it's cool to hurt somebody as long as I do it for love. But here it looks like they're actually playing with the trope a little bit because she's relishing the fact that she got two boyfriends, which is never a thing. Normally it's a conflict, but she's relishing in it. I think she's going to be a bad guy. Then the Indian girl comes in the mix. She going to feel, oh man, it's still her show, isn't it? But like if like my reaction, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I don't know if I'm going to react to it on my channel. If you want to see it, tell me. But I'll probably watch it in my own free time unless somebody wants to see it, honestly.